Oh, oh, hello. Uh, oh, today we're gonna we're gonna talk about uh, the exponent rules right here, and uh, it's it's first first we're gonna start out with a demonstration. All right, what is what is uh, eight to the third um, times eight to the to the second? Well, we know already. We know already that. 8 to the 3rd is just 8 times 8 times 8. And we know that 8 to the 2nd is just 8 times 8. Okay, so all of this, uh, 8 times 8 times 8 times 8 times 8, that's just, uh, what, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, that's just 8 to the 5th then. Let's check this. That's that's the way I want to write it. Um, but we'll we'll get to that in a minute. Let's check. If we have eight to the third, I'm going to use a calculator now. So if I'm using PEMDAS, before I do the multiplication, I have to do the exponents. So I'll say eight to the third times eight squared. This would be in a calculator. That'd be five hundred and twelve. And then eight squared is sixty-four. And 64 times 512 is 32,768. Uh, now, I also want to check uh, 8 to the 5th. And in my calculator, um, I, can use, I can hit uh, 8. I can hit my 8 button, then my X to the Y button, and then... Uh, the exponent would be 5, so I hit my 5 button, and automatically, uh, it gives me, well, actually, not automatically, you, you have to hit the equals button, uh, and it gives you, three, same thing, three, or 32,768, so that's right, ooh, what's the rule here, if that was the demonstration, what's the rule, if you're multiplying exponents with the same base, you add the exponents. Sorry, if you multiply uh, bases, same bases, you add exponents. So that's the rule. If you multiply, if you multiply using the same base, that's very very important. Then you add, you add uh, the exponents. So let's take an egg, or let's take a look at an example for that, uh, and we'll see what happens. So it says rewrite. 3 to the 5th times 3 to the 9th in the form 3 to the n. That just means write the 3 a single time and have a single number for the exponent. So that's all that that means. Write a single base and a single exponent. So, uh, how do we do this? Well, that's pretty simple. Uh, we have 3 to the 5th times 3 to the 9th. That's just going to be 3 to the 5 plus 9. Remember, this is all in the exponent. Uh, what is 9 plus 5? That's just 3 to the, what is that, 14? And look at that, 3 to the n. That's just like what we have. n is 14. Okay, that's pretty easy. Um, I'm not going to make you write it all out. We're just trying to learn the rules of exponents. So, there you have it. Let's look at example 2. M and the D, it's pretty easy. Yeah, I hope so. All you're doing is following that rule. What is 4 to the 12th times 4 to the negative 11th? What? Negative exponent? Can we do that? M and the D. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. That, that doesn't matter. Follow the rules. Okay, so we'll follow the rules. Uh, what do we have? We have, well, 4 to the 12th. Uh, and then I, I'm multiplying the same base, right? Um, if you multiply it using the same base, the same base is the 4. That's the base. And then uh, you add the exponents. So here I take uh, four, or 12 plus negative 11. So that's plus negative 11. And hopefully you remember that's the same thing as 12 minus 11, which is just 4 to the 1. But this, whenever you have a 1 exponent, that's the same thing as 4. Uh, either of those would be correct. So when you have a 1 for the exponent, 
you don't have to write it. That's example two. That's I mean it, it's pretty easy. It's pretty easy, man. That's pretty easy. What do we do now? What's what's next, huh? What's next, see? Oh, what are you trying to do? What are you trying to do? Well, I'm just it's a trick. It's not. I'm trying to do the problem. Yeah, but that that one look different. It's not. It's not. Well, it'll it'll be okay. Um, what is nine to the negative fourteen uh, times four to the eighth? Hmm, interesting. Uh, times nine to the negative three. Well, let's look back at our rule. Our rule says if you multiply, we're multiplying using the same base, same base. This and this have the same base. This is not the same base. Oh no, what do we do? You add the exponents. Okay, so what do you do uh, for this one? Well, it turns out, oh, Mr. D, actually, I, I think I know. You were complaining before. Yeah, but I think I know. Okay, so, so what do you do? You just take the nines and you put them in front and then you just you add those exponents. You don't do anything with the four to the eight. That's right. So let's let's he's he's right. Let's do let's do that. So let's take this. We'll we'll have nine to the negative fourteen times nine to the negative three times four to the eighth. And we're gonna add those exponents. So that'll be 9 with the base written once, and then you have negative 14 uh, plus negative 3. Ooh, they're the same sign. Uh, and then times, that's a times, 4 to the 8th. All right, what's negative 14 plus 3? Negative 14 plus 3, that's, well, negative 14, 15, 16, 17. Negative 17 times 4 to the 8th. We can't do anything here. So we just got to leave it. That's our answer. Okay, that's not so bad at all. That's, uh, that's the end of the video. Uh, write everything down. I will check this later. And you look at part two. We can do a lot of notes today. Simple rules. You could be do that. Yes.